Hello, welcome to CF8 Level 2. This is Nick at Quartic with 10 topics in 10 weeks. We're nearly halfway now. We're looking at corporate finance today. Corporate finance, 5 to 10%. That's 6 to 12 questions in your exam. We've got five readings here. Now, you've covered a lot of the basics at level one. We extend this very much at level two. We start off with capital budgeting. You looked at level one with MPV and IRR. We're now looking at way more complex areas at cash flow forecasting. If you've got a multi-year project, uh, we're looking at tax calculations. And through that, coming down to net cash flows, from there, we can do our MPV a range of different topics based on that uh, fill this chapter. It's a very uh, detailed reading, but quite a lot of calculations that are hopefully quite achievable. Uh, we then move into capital structure. Again, you saw that at level one. We begin with Modigliani and Miller's theories. We'll see two different hypotheses. We will see scenarios that we can describe hopefully fairly simply within that. And through this capital structure discussion, identify how we can gain value. Do, are we looking at lots of debt? Are we looking at making it making no difference? Or are we looking at some payoff where we want a modest amount of debt, but not an excessive amount? We will see various theories on that. Dividends and cherry purchases. We It started that at level one as well. And now we're looking at all sorts of analysis. What do dividends do? What do cherry purchases do? Let's have a look again at tax. Do we mind which a company does? Is a shareholder better off or worse off under different scenarios? And then we look at dividend policy. What sort of policies can a company put in place for dividends? How do they benefit shareholders? How do they benefit other stakeholders? And how predictable are they? Uh, moving into the second study session, corporate governance and other environmental, social and governance considerations. Um, a very important area, lots of words, no numbers in this. Uh, you need to know the details of how a company is structured and how it invests in the way that shareholders want it to invest, so how it operates itself. And then finally, mergers and acquisitions. We talk about the, we saw the accounting of this, but when one company takes over another company, what are the benefits that can be generated? Are there really any benefits? How does it work? What are the motivations? And then do the bidding shareholders or the target shareholders benefit and by how much?